This is why you should practice caution. PP405 is set to enter a market which is predicted by 2008 to be worth $31 billion, the hair loss cosmeceutical market. So I can tell you now, with a backing by Google Ventures, Google Ventures are going to be protecting this PP405 baby with everything they have. They are not going to be releasing beta versions of it out to the world to go, hmm, I wonder how it's going to land. They would have already done their due diligence. They know it's going to land well if it gets approved, subject to it getting approved and becoming the third only ever FDA approved drug and a topical drug at that and the first ever drug that may be able to reawaken dormant stem cells. So I can tell you this right now, they are not going to release little recipes and replicas out to companies that have 2000 followers on TikTok to sell their product. You have to wake up to this. You know, you of course you can practice your own caution, and you might want to dive in, and some people have said they've dove in. Why would I, as a doctor, and some of my experience, avoid taking that route? Is this if someone has built a replica of this in their lab and they haven't had the governance, they haven't had the, the rigorous protocols and policies in place, and the safety stepping stones and milestones put in place to protect the person putting it on their scalp or on their skin? The risk is if this drug has tissue growth potential, there is an endless amount of problems that this could cause if it hasn't gone through the rigorous processes that is an FDA approval process to get approved. So if you were to just buy something off the internet and apply it on your scalp, you are playing huge health roulette and I would highly, highly advise against that.